Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Herder here, back with yet another 100% achievement guide. Well, I say 100% achievement guide, this is more like a quick explanation of an achievement guide and how we can get the 100% easy. Now, the reason that this isn't a full walkthrough is because generally it's not needed. You basically do the same exact thing in each level, uh, do that for all 15 levels and you'll get the full 1k. But I will show you just the first level so you sort of have an idea of what we're doing, what we're cluing, what we're looking for. So yes, this was developed by Tonguk Bodur, published by East Asia Soft and is available for £5.79 slash $6.99. Uh, and basically what we have to do, uh, we are Lula. And um, we basically explore this whole vibrant fantasy world. And uh, what it says here, she journeys to discover the meaning of the genie and fulfill her destiny. So basically what this is, is a walking simulator more or less, where we have to grab some gems and then we have to watch some cutscenes and stuff. Yes, that is it for... The full 15 levels. It's a very relax. It is a very relaxing game. There's obviously no enemies. It's a chilled out game. Um, the locations are generally very beautiful as well. Um, but yeah, this is generally quite more of the relaxing, an even more relaxing walk-in sim than usual. Uh, so, yep, this you can get this done in around an hour. Um, two hours if you go ahead and skip the cut. Uh, watch the cutscenes. Anyway, when you go into settings here, make sure that the hints option uh, is off, is on, basically. So, to hide the hints. Hide the hints, make sure that it is off, so that the hints are available. That's what I'm trying to get at. But yeah, so, here's part one. So, as I was saying, um, an hour if you go ahead and skip the cutscenes, two hours if you go ahead and watch all the cutscenes. So, these are the ones that we are needing to grab, is just these crystal laws. And if you look up into the sky right there, you can see the markers are already marked on the marker for you. So all you've got to do then is just go ahead and, well, grab all the crystals. Now there's usually four, five, maybe six uh, in each level. Obviously it depends. That obviously the maps are not very big, so you can't really get lost. You can't jump. You can't sprint, anything like that. Uh, you're literally just walking around, looking up at the beam in the sky and... Uh, seeing where your next crystal may lay. Obviously, if you do want to give yourself that little bit more of a slight challenge, you can obviously turn the hints off, so you can go ahead and find it yourself. But, you know, well, since the hints are here, god damn, we're going to use them. So, yeah, it's... Uh, and like I said, this is the same... Basically, the exact same thing in each level. So have a look in the sky, find as many crystals, and then when we find the crystals... We are going to step on a whole bunch of platforms. Again, depends on the level. Normally, they sometimes you, you may have three or four. Sometimes there may be six or seven platforms and cutscenes to have a look out. But once you have filled the crystal meter there in the top left corner, this is where the platforming bit begins. Well, it's not a platforming bit. You've just got to go ahead and find it. But again, if you look up into the sky, high into the sky, you can see what I see. My god, is that we? No, it's just the platform that we're looking for. So, it's the same thing as with the crystals. Find out where it is. We're going to go ahead and stand on it. And then what you need to do is turn your camera around with the right stick and find a bright light. And focus on it for just a second or two until the cutscene begins. And then with that cutscene beginning, you can actually just go ahead and press the X button. And you can get rid of that cutscene. So if you want, like I said, if you want to watch these, that's that's obviously fine. You can uh, really engage yourself in the story. Or if you skip it, as I said, it's, it's also fine. We can get this done a little bit quicker. So, yeah, as I said, there's about four, five, maybe six platforms on each level. Again, depending on the level. But once you have... Oh, there it is, you sneaky son of a monkey again. But, uh, yeah, so that's why this was more of a sort of quick explanation guide rather than a full walkthrough, because, je I, honestly, it is just not needed at all. Uh, so this is more of a, this is what you do through each level. Where the hell is that goddamn red light? Oh, there it is. So, this will, once you've done this then, again, there's probably four or five in this first level, but once you've done this last one... Come on! Focus, Cal! Focus on the light! Walk into the light, boy. No, wait, no. If you see a light in real life, don't walk into it. 
Especially if it's coming hurtling towards you at uh, 50 miles per hour. Do not walk into it. Another one of my fantastic life advices right there. Right, so, uh, yeah, so there we go then. That is just the sort of quick explanation. Like I said, you've got 15 levels to do. Should take you roughly about an hour, hour and a half. So there we go. So thank you so much for watching, guys and gals. Uh, if we just have a little look through there. Oh, and we get an achievement for finishing the game as well. Of course. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend. Big shout out to my Patreon supporters and YouTube members as always. And I'll see you in the next one. Megalore!